What is up, Product Hunt? Today we are doing a showdown of two artificial intelligence based UI UX tools Vercel V0 and Claude Sonnet. Who will win? Which is the better tool? I guess we'll find out. First, let's take a look at Vercel V0. This tool lets you generate the UI for your app, plus all the code for it just from a single prompt. With Vercel, you can start generating your UI just from typing whatever you want in it. So let's try typing in a pricing page for a SaaS. And what you could do, you could keep it private, you could keep it public. If you're working on something top secret, just keep it private. Watch this, it's so cool how you could watch the code. I, I find this amazing. And so you see right now it's like this blue and pink, but we'll be able to change that. All the themes, everything is customizable. What you can see right now is just one version. Vercel actually generated three different front end versions here. And I find that so cool that it does multiple variations. You could also edit up these variations with a prompt. You just kind of say, let's make this for an e-commerce site instead. Let's see what happens. It is so fast. There we go. And now it says discover our exceptional e-commerce solutions. And then what's also really cool here. So let's change up the theme right now. It's this pastel theme, but you could do retro windows. This is one I actually made. Here's the product hunt theme with the product hunt orange. You could do a default, like all these different themes, um, totally customizable is, is absolutely incredible. You can also click on specific elements and just edit those. So what you do, you click on, pick and edit here. Let's say we want to edit up just this button. We want to make it a rectangle button with no rounded edges. And there we go. We got a box. It is a rectangle now. Is that that's crazy. You'd have to like tell a designer to do that before. And now you could just straight up do it, you know, with AI insane. Right now you're looking at the canvas, but Vercel also generates all the code for your project. So you could plug that into whatever project you're working on. Vercel is built on Shad UI, which includes elements like the date pickers, checkboxes, drop downs, all that kind of stuff. These elements can be really hard to build from scratch. So to be honest, really impressed with some of these visual results here. They're stunning and look like a real UI that you'd get from like a real designer. I think a lot of that has to do with Shad UI. And you know, really what's so great about Vercel V0 here is that you can host all these projects on Vercel. That's what makes it magical. You can push this code to a Git repository and then deploy it straight to Vercel, managing everything from that dashboard. I think Vercel V0 is very underrated. It's versatile. It can be used for all sorts of rapid prototyping, A-B testing, and creating high performance responsive web apps. I think any developer can use it, but especially a solo developer or an indie hacker like we have at Product Hunt, could use this and it could make their lives a lot better. It could help them move a lot faster in the iteration phase. Here's some other things that I've built with Vercel. So <laughs> I was fooling around and I made a product hunt gambling dashboard. So basically you could gamble on what products are gonna win. I don't think we're gonna add this to product hunt anytime soon, but I like it. Also, I made an app to help my videographer find a goth girlfriend. You're welcome, Alex. Now let's take a look at Claude 3.5 Sonnet, specifically the artifacts feature, which changes how you can interact with Claude. It's a real upgrade and honestly, pretty magic as well. When a user asks Claude to generate text snippets, code, or web design, it creates something called an artifact, which is a magical shareable window. It has your code, it's got your design, it's got everything. So in order to enable that, you just click on your username and then feature preview, you click on artifacts, turn that baby on. All right, so now let's try this out. Let's ask it to make a pricing page. Let's compare the two. All right, pricing page for a SaaS. So right now you'll see it wants some more questions. Okay, Claude is very thoughtful. Claude is inquisitive. All right, what type of service does your SaaS offer? I offer an API speed tester. Is that even a thing? I'm not sure. And now you can see the artifact is getting created from scratch. You can see all the code. It's like, I can't read this code. I mean, other people can, but like, this is, this is crazy, right? And so you got the basic plan, the pro, you've got the code as well, which you could then copy and paste the same way you would do on V0. So you got the, the preview, this is the artifact, and you can publish that as well and then share it with a friend. Unlike for cell V0, Claude is a lot less granular. You have to totally reprompt it to tell it what you want. You can't click buttons and tell it to be rectangular. You have to literally type in, 
I want rectangular buttons, right? So right now it is totally redesigning just to give me rectangular buttons. You can see this is kind of overhaul just for something this small, right? And now we have rectangular buttons, there we go. What Claude does have that Vercel V0 doesn't have is it's a lot more versatile for other things. You could ask Claude to build anything. So here, let's ask Claude to design a 8-bit rabbit character jumping in a video game. Are you designing me my rabbit, Mr. Claude? Come on, Santa Claude. Ah, we got our rabbit, all right. Claude is like, really just an upgraded ChatGPT at the end of the day. Like I'm sure ChatGPT is gonna add this kind of preview artifact feature in the future, but right now Claude is leading the way for chatbots. So we got the rabbit, now let's tell it to put it in a video game. Put the rabbit in a side scrolling game. All right, let's see what happens. It's waiting, sculpting, waiting, sculpting. It's a lot, you know, like a like an artist. All right, now he's in a game, okay. So obviously Claude can generate some pretty advanced code and it could also generate the backends for your website and help you program the backend as well. So let's say we got this API speed tester pricing here and we wanna ask, hey, how do I generate the backend for my API speed tester? It can't implement or deploy the backend for you, but it can give you advice and give you the code to be able to do that, which honestly is pretty helpful as well. See, it's given me all these instructions. Oh my God, this is, this is incredible. So you can see here, it gives you all the instructions that you could ever need. Uh, it can't deploy it for you, but it can give you the instructions, which is pretty incredible. All right, here's the verdict. Vercel V0, better design capabilities. Uh, you can like edit all the different elements. You could add themes. I think that's pretty cool. You don't have to like reprompt. So it definitely has better design. And it also has seamless integration with Vercel where you could just go host it on Vercel. But here's the thing. Claude 3.5 is just like a more robust tool in general. It is way more powerful. You could ask it all these questions. It's not just for UI design, right? You could go ask for help on the back end. You could do so much. Both of these tools are great, but the best use case is probably using them in tandem. Designing the front end in Vercel V0, asking for help on the back end on Claude, and then hosting the website on Vercel. So there's not gonna be just one magic AI tool to do everything. You're gonna have to use them for different tasks at hand and just understand that when you go into it. That's why it's really helpful to know what's going on in as much software as possible. It makes you that much more dangerous and fast of a builder. Maybe I'm biased, but the coolest part about both of these tools is they launched on Product Hunt. Product Hunt is the home to the best software on the internet. So if you wanna know what software you should be using to build faster, make more money and work more efficiently, then make sure to subscribe for Product Hunt reviews every week. We're gonna be reviewing all the best software on the internet and maybe even some of the worst too. All right, see you on the internet.